Uh, first of all, you did a fantastic job in this movie, so congratulations. Um, when you found out that you got the role of Cedric, mm. first reaction, freaking a little bit? Um, I, I, I know everyone thinks I should have done. Well, maybe I should have done, but <laughs> I, sort of, I read the book before uh, the audition, and I kind of, there, there wasn't any part of the character which I didn't think I could play. And the thing is, so, 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 that's probably, I don't know if that's arrogant or not, but like, it's kind of, but I just felt like quite um, at ease with it. And I, and I went into the, into the audition, it like, was well, my second audition, um, really confident, like having, like I read it in, in a day, and I just thought, like, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> and so like, I went, in, and I think that confidence helped a lot with, um, with getting the part. And so, yeah, I kind of, yeah, I, I just really wanted to do it really well, because I'm still, young and everything and relatively inexperienced actor and uh, and because there were so many famous actors in it and stuff like I, I like yeah I don't know I, I so I was just concentrating a lot and I put quite a lot of work into it at the beginning and so I kind of I ignored all my nerves mm. just by just sitting looking at the script and reading the book like 10 times all, all the time which was probably pointless. <laughs> but like, well, no, I mean, let's talk about that, because here you are, I mean, just from reading a little bit about you, you're a pretty well-rounded guy. You like music, you like sports, you're, you know, you obviously did well in school, I'm sure. Now you're playing this guy who is pretty well like you, I think. Yeah, I think I've made most of it up. Like, <laughs> the thing, like the, I think, I think, yeah, especially, like, for the audition. Like, I was like, so, do you do a lot of sport? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, sort of. <laughs> I do a lot of um, pool, <laughs> like darts, <laughs> play cards. <laughs> but, hey, it works. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I sort of. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, well, I hope I'm not that close to my character. I'd, I'd hate him. Like I, I used to hate everybody like Cedric in my in my school, and that's why I hate. Like they made me style my hair like Cedric in this interview. <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> So when you get on the set and you're really realizing for the first day that you are on a Harry Potter movie, uh -huh. okay, come on, what, what was that like for you? You had to have been a little bit nervous. Yeah, well that's weird because I, I started off doing The Maze first and uh, so I was just with Daniel Radcliffe for about two, three weeks and I was with the second unit which is smaller, like, it was quite a small crew and just with Mike Newell directing it. and. Um, and as Dan was doing school at the time, I was basically just sitting by myself for, for ages. Um, and I, like, at the time, I wanted to be taken really seriously as an actor, so I used to just, just sit around, just <laughs> drinking coffee all day and trying to look really intense. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, yeah, and then, um, yeah, so I kind of... <laughs> what was the question? I'm completely well, lost. Well, just about being nervous about being a, a, yeah, in yeah, scope yeah, yeah. of this type of film. Yeah, yeah, it's... <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, it was, a bit. Like, but I think because it started off quite small in, in the maze and stuff, uh, and it was the shooting was very isolated. It was with a steady cam and just with two guys just running around. Um, and also it was quite... Uh, it, the scene involved you being quite nervous, and so it all kind of worked out. And then all the big scenes and all the big act, like big adult actors, yeah. they all came after a month into it. And so I, I knew the crew and I knew most people. So I was quite comfortable by that point. So it all worked out quite nicely. Now tell me about when, um, when you first met Daniel Radcliffe. You know, I mean, I, I'm sure that the, the older veteran actors mm. kind of made you guys feel pretty well at home. Mm. What was it about Daniel, though, that you know, once you started working with him, kind of really impressed you about him? Well, I, I knew, like, I sort of, I've been watch, I watched the first three movies, and you can tell in the last one he's, he's getting better and better, and, uh, and I could tell he was going to, and also I like the fact that he's grown, like, because he's stayed, he's, he's been consistent, like, he's not sort of, he hasn't been watching, like, I don't know, Johnny Depp or something, I and mean, then try to be Johnny Depp in the fall, <laughs> or something like that, or something weird. He's been consistent in his character, which, and, and if he does that through all seven, that'll be really interesting, and I think, I knew because he's really good in this one. Like, and I knew from the beginning that he'd be really good. And especially like when I was doing scenes, like when he's holding my body and stuff, I was quite like moved by what he was doing. And uh, yeah, and because he's well, he's not that young anymore. But like yeah. he was, he was quite young. And I was, yeah, I was really impressed by. It. And he's very, and also the fact that he has to switch between doing school for five hours and then immediately get called onto set to do anything. 
and uh, he can just, his mind, I don't know how he does that, because I just wouldn't be able to. Mm -hmm. And he has constant energy as well, like, and he's always in a good mood. Like, he's, a, he's a good guy to work with, he's very professional. And he loves music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he introduced me to a couple of bands as well, which, which I hadn't listened to before. Well, that's pretty cool. Mm. And I asked, you know, I know he's a prankster, but has he grown up? Did he pull any pranks on you? Not really, actually. Well, he might have done it. Maybe I just didn't notice. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, I don't You know. were too into your character. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> take me back to the Yule Ball. Uh, reliving that must have been just, just a phenomenal experience being on that set. Yeah, the set was incredible. It was abs the set was the most amazing set I think uh, was I've seen in it. Instead of the, it was the whole great hall covered in ice, and they just did it over like a week or something. They changed the whole the whole great hall set. It was amazing. But um, yeah, and just the little bit when I don't know. Yeah, you have you've seen it, haven't you? The uh, when <laughs> uh, when we were coming out of the carriages into the snow and like walking into sort of the flame-filled courtyard. I know that's wicked. Like, it's exactly what you'd want to see in a ball. And uh, yeah, but I think the, the, the Yule ball is more attractive to all the people, the girls who read it. I never really, <laughs> I never really thought, oh, I could go to the ball or something. <laughs> but, what, but, your uh, prom wasn't like that at all? I didn't have a prom. I had like, my, there are only six people in my year at school. And so like, I never went to school. <laughs> <laughs> but like, the, uh, well, you made up for it in this film. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was nice. It was like my end of school prom. Excellent. Sort of. Now, tell me a little bit about the challenges you faced doing the underwater scenes. That must have been really hard. Um, yeah, it was quite tough. Like, yeah, because uh, even though no, my uh, press release says I'm really good at swimming and sports and stuff, I'm actually not. <laughs> so, like, so I had to kind of, uh, uh, yeah, get better at swimming very quickly and. Um, and uh, yeah, just sort of holding your breath for 30 seconds or whatever seems like it's relatively easy, like if you're just kind of swimming around on holiday or whatever. But um, having uh, having to do it on cue, and when they when they just say when, just when they say action, and you've got to you have to just swim from there to there, but you can't see anything. That's mm -hmm. that's the annoying thing. And also you've got to be acting. Like, it, it was kind of yeah. There, there are a couple of times where. Where you think you're swimming towards the diver with with the breathing apparatus, and then you find it's just like something in the water, and you're like, <laughs> like, like, like and then you just don't know what to do. I mean, they film your stupid face just like screaming underwater, and I you're mean, like, yeah. I mean, everyone starts <laughs> laughing. <laughs> and it's just ah, uh, great. <laughs> now you don't, yeah. Uh, yeah, get me out of here. Um, you don't have obviously a lot of scenes with with Emma and and Ron, but t mm. just tell me and Ron and Rupert. I always call him Ron, and I don't know why, but anyways, and Rupert, but. But tell me a little bit about your impressions of them too. You know, just being with these people who've been in these films all along, meeting them, and what it was like meeting meeting those two. Um, yeah, I thought they were really cool. They're, they're, I, I did. We'd had this bonding week at the beginning, um, and I did a lot of improvising with um, with Rupert, and uh, he's really like he's incredibly funny. Like he's just as a real person, like, and. and uh, just because he's funny in the film, obviously, but like, he can do, he's like really versatile doing acting. And like Emma as well, like she could just, she just does it. Like she, she's an actress <laughs> and she always has been. And she's just an incredibly intelligent young person. And uh, yeah, she's, they're very impressive people. This has obviously had to have hit you. I mean, this is massive, massive movie worldwide. I don't think there's anybody on the planet in any country around the world. Somebody has seen this film, right? <laughs> uh, is that starting to sink in? And are you thinking about what's going to happen to you after people start seeing you in this movie? I mean, I know you've done other things, but this is a big one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to deal with it. Like, it's sort of because it's all so enclosed at the moment because it hasn't been generally released. And like just seeing the poster and stuff, like, oh, that's a good poster. But like you sort of, you know, when you think about the strangers seeing it, going, "Hey, that guy on the poster!" Like it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't really know what it's going to be like at all. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to take the leap to North America and possibly start making films there, or what's your goal now? Well, I, I've been going. I've been staying in LA for a little while, and um, I'm going back in a couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, I'm just, I, I've got an LA agent the other day, so mm -hmm. yeah. So hopefully something will happen. Well, I'm sure we will be speaking to you again. You <laughs> did a wonderful job in this, and uh, keep up the great work. It's lovely to talk to you. Thanks. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.